What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get Killer B and um, how you can get all of his Limit Break Crystals, all his Awakening Medals and everything like that without doing SS Rank. Now I know a lot of people can't really do SS Rank, but um, the next video I have dropping is going to be a guide how to do it, because it's not that hard actually, it's really easy. So um, a lot of you that couldn't do SS Rank or the Super Impact SS Rank for Naruto and Sasuke should be able to do this one pretty easily. So, um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and start by uh, killing all these people off. Pull everybody down here just so the rest of them can die. And then uh, Madara will go ahead and finish this. So, yeah, so once you get, you know, once you beat... I'm on s rank right now, by the way. Do uh, you guys want to know? I'm on s rank right now. Boom, so just kill them. I didn't get a drop on Killer B, but that's fine. Anyways, I got this drop. See? So I got a Limit Break Crystal. On S rank and A rank, you can get Limit Break Crystals and you can get um, the Blazing Awakened Bees. Now, they only drop as a 5 star and a 4 star. But the thing about that is, you can actually awaken them into uh, 5 star five star beads or 6 star crystals. So I'm going to go ahead and go wrong place. Right here. I'm gonna go ahead and go right here and show you guys that you can do that. So, right now we have uh, two of those. Now I need three, so I can't really show you there. But how many crystals do I have, or beads do I have? All right, so I have 16 beads. It takes six beads, I believe, to make a five-star bead. So there's that right there. Boom. So yeah, it takes six beads to make a five star bead and then it takes four killer bead crystals five star four uh regular limit uh limit break crystals to make a six star limit break crystal which already have some already farmed my killer b as you can see from my other uh video that i've already done so um yeah i know it's gonna be a lot worse because you have to like actually grind it like a normal impact but if you do want the unit and you cannot be ss ranks on the super impact this is a way to still get the uh, limit break material and the beads and everything like that. Now, if you go right here, right, and you look at the limited ninja trials, uh, as you can see, I just got a killer B. Now, the reason why I got this killer B is because I did um, S rank five times. You get a killer B for doing S rank five times, and you get a killer B for doing um, A rank ten times. So, let's go ahead and get that. Now, I have a killer B. Now, you can only acquire two Killer Bs, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, what's the point of having two Killer Bs? I can't get the dupes or blah, blah, blah. The dupes don't matter as much as you think, right? Now, I will say for the Blazing Bash Killer B, it kind of does because you do need to get his Chakra to four, but that only means you need to farm, like, two more Killer Bs on SS Rank. Now, the good thing about that is SS Rank is actually pretty easy. So here's the uh, dupe abilities for this Killer B, which, um... You do want to get these. You, you, for this Killer B, I would say his abilities matter a lot more. But, like, for the Naruto and Sasuke, it didn't really matter as much. But this SS rank, like I said, is a lot easier. And it's a lot um, more simpler. You don't have to do too much. Um, here's the abilities for this Killer B. Now, for um, Naruto and Sasuke's Super Impacts. I know you needed Anniversary Naruto and Sasuke, and that kind of sucked. But with um, this impact, you need Madara. Now, I will say you don't need any dupes. You don't need any dupes for Madara, right? I can show you real quick. You don't need any dupes for Madara to be used. I don't have any dupes in my Madara, right? So, you don't need any dupes to beat this mission. All you need is a Madara, right? You need to pull Madara. And you don't even need to pull Madara per se. You can run like a random Madara. But it's, it's better if you pull Madara. Now, the good thing about that is Madara has a step-up banner. Um... Madara step up banner is guaranteed on the night step but also if you look right here as it loads uh so yeah on the third step it goes up by three percent so he has a 3.3 percent chance a 0.33 percent chance to pull him on the third step he has a one percent chance and on the fifth step he has a two percent chance to pull him 
and then if you still do not pull him on any of the steps on the ninth step he's guaranteed on global i pulled him in three steps i was really lucky on jp i pulled him in five steps really lucky i pulled both moderas on a one percent and a two percent chance so um the rates aren't too bad as far as what i've seen i've seen a lot of different people pulling him so uh take that as you may but yeah so what you want to do is go ahead and go for Madara, try to pull him uh, if you pull him, this rate will be 10 times easier, easier. If you don't pull him, that's still okay. Now, the reason why Madara makes this rate so much easier is because the rate isn't hard. The final boss just does a lot of damage. But, this Madara, right, on his, uh, here, well, let me, let me go right here. Yeah, this Madara, a really good thing is that, his uh, field and buddies, his field skill is 25% to 30% damage. I mean, damage reduction. But on the raid, on the SS rank, it goes to 50% to 60%. So you're doing a lot more damage reduction. And then his jutsu multipliers go from five to like seven, and then like 9.5, and then that goes from like 16.5. Just stupid amounts. He gets a lot of damage increase and a really big buff to his field and buddy skill. So the modder is going to be tanking a lot and doing a lot more damage. That's why you want him. Now, um, that does not apply to a friend modder. It only applies to your modder, and that's why you want to bring the modder. So, um, yeah, in my next video, I'm going to be doing um, how to beat the mission or whatever. So, uh, definitely look forward to that. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace. I'm sad and all, yeah. I'm sad and all, yeah. Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go. Uh, you decide if you ever.